Hi, so um, yeah, wanted to put a bit of a video together really just to talk about um, falling into the trap of being a scrum mum. Um, so don't do it, don't become a scrum mum and it's really easy to, to kind of fall into this trap um, and to feel like you're, you're helping your team by kind of doing this firefighting, jumping in kind of scrum master role um, but actually it's having the opposite effect so you know, your job as a, a scrum master is, you know, one of, one of the things you're kind of responsible for uh, is the effectiveness of your, uh, of the scrum team. Um, so it might feel like, you know, quick, quick wins and, and you know, helping people out and, um, you know, being that firefighter scrum master is, is helping the team be effective, but actually it's not, it's not helping them at all because they're not understanding um, what failure feels like. They're not learning from kind of past experiences they're not empowered to kind of solve these these problems and impediments themselves, which is kind of the whole whole idea of this small cross functional team. Um, so yeah, so as much as it might feel really good uh, being a scrum mum, it's having the opposite effect, and and it's hard. So um, you know, human you know kind of nature is you know you see a problem, you want to fix it. Um, you know, you've got things like that at play. You've got things like traditional management style where, you know, you might have stakeholders, you know, sat in some of these meetings looking for people who are, you know, doing the firefighting and solving the problems. Um, but actually, that's that's a bigger problem in itself that, that needs to be tackled probably at a cultural level. So you do have a lot of things kind of playing, you know, on your mind and against you in terms of, you know, jump in, save the world, be a scrum mum. But actually, it's having the opposite effect. So, um don't be scared of awkward silences. So, you know, um, ask the question, all right, so what are we going to do about this? How can we solve this problem? Um, and, and I think when I first started out as a scrum master, I'd ask that question, give it five seconds, and then I'd be like, well, we could do X, Y. Uh, whereas now I'm quite happy to leave that silence for, you know, 30 seconds, um, a minute, if that's as long as it takes. Um, and yes, it is awkward. And yes, it feels weird. Um but I tell you what, the, the team will, will let it go that long uh, every time. They'll soon get used to, you know, we need to, you know, we need to think for ourselves here. We need to solve these problems. We're the team. Let's work together and let's kind of self-manage and, and get these things done. Um, so, yeah, so don't fall into the trap of being a scrum mum. You know, like I said, human nature, something everyone wants to do, makes you feel good, you know, can make you look good in front of management, but, but don't fall into that trap. You know, you want your team to be effective. You want them solving their own problems you know, um, embrace the awkward silence and look for, you know, um, yeah, people figuring things out for themselves. Don't be a scrum mum.